name is Dr. Elisa Medhus. I'm a mother of five, a board-certified internist with a heavy background in science, and the daughter of two confirmed atheists. Now, for these last two reasons, I've always been a confirmed skeptic where all things woo-woo were concerned. The very mention of heaven, energy healing, and reincarnation made me roll my eyes. But all this would change when I lost my 20-year-old son, Eric, to a self-inflicted gunshot wound to the head. So she lost someone very close to her, her son, who basically killed himself. And despite her background in science, in reason, in some kind of skepticism, from that, she ended up believing in all sorts of mystical ideas and even believes she communicates with her son as well as various other disincarnate beings. These beings include Adolf Hitler, Jesus Christ and a variety of others. Erica began visiting friends, family members and even blog members. He turned on unplugged appliances. He would leave nasty smells, he would turn deadbolts and faucets, he would even call on the telephone and materialize physically. People look for reasons to believe. They look for patterns to fit their beliefs. Even if their belief is in a limited and undeveloped form, if they wish to follow certain ideas, certain trains of thought, they'll make apparent patterns seem to be more meaningful than they truly are. They might claim to be sceptical, to be critical, to be doubters, looking for patterns, looking for the truth, examining the facts, when the truth is they're being guided by their own beliefs. Still, believe it or not, I remain a skeptic. 